place the face mask on the face and adjust the head straps. Adjust the lower straps first, then the temple straps, and finally the top head strap. For easy strap adjustment, always pull the straps straight back. Now gather the neck strap and place it inside the hood. When donning the hood, make sure the hood sits around the frame of the mask, making sure no exposed skin is visible. If the mask has a voice amplifier system, then pull the bottom of the hood forward. This will allow the hood to fit under and around the voice amplifier section. This will make sure all exposed skin is covered. Insert the lung demand valve into the front of the mask. You will hear a click when the lung demand valve is in the correct position. As an additional check, pull on the lung demand valve to make sure it is secured into the mask. Breathe normally as the lung demand valve will automatically activate. When using the SCBA, the cylinder valve handle must be fully opened. This will prevent the cylinder valve handle from being accidentally turned off. Once you have opened the cylinder valve all the way, then back off the cylinder valve handle a half a turn. This will help prevent the cylinder valve handle from sticking. You should always wash your face mask after use. This will help keep your face mask in top working order as well as extend the life of your face mask. There are a number of steps when washing your face mask. First, rinse the mask under cold running water to remove any solids. Second, wash the face mask in the cleaning solution. Third, rinse the mask in clean cold water to remove the washing solution. Then shake the mask to remove any excess water. To dry the mask, you can let the mask air dry or wipe the mask dry with a lint-free cloth. Do not strike the mask to remove any excess water. If the face mask is fitted with a voice amplifier system, make sure that both the battery and the radio outlet covers are secured properly. The ear speaker plug should also be in position. This simple check prior to washing will help prevent water damaging the voice amplifier system. When needed, the quick cylinder connector system will require cleaning and lubricating using the following cleaning kit. The cleaning kit consists of 3M Citrus Cleaning Spray, Dry Lubricant MS122AD and blanking plugs. The part number for the cleaning kit is 33593396. To clean the quick cylinder connection system, connect the quick cylinder adapter and then fit the blanking plug. This will seal off the air inlet and prevent any liquid from entering the first stage reducer. Spray 3M citrus based cleaner liberally onto all outside surfaces of the coupling. Wait a few minutes to allow maximum penetration and loosening action and then wipe off any residue with a damp clean cloth or blow off with air. Remove the blanking plug and the cylinder adapter. Fit the blanking plug into the quick cylinder connector as shown. Once again, spray the 3M citrus base cleaner liberally onto the inner surfaces of the rotating section of the connector. Wait a couple of minutes and then wipe off or, using an airline, blow off the residue.
now spray MS 122 AD dry lubricant on all metal surfaces, especially on all moving parts of the coupling where there is metal on metal contact. Allow a few minutes to dry before removing the blanking plug. When connecting the cylinder, push the cylinder adapter into the quick cylinder connector system until a positive click is heard. The hand grip will rapidly rotate approximately 45 degrees counterclockwise, indicating that the valve is correctly connected to the first stage pressure reducer. The LDV or lung demand valve needs to be lubricated on a regular basis using a Dow Corning compound 111 valve lubricant and sealant. We recommend that the LDV or lung demand valve is lubricated at least once a month. Before applying the lubricant you would need to wipe the o-ring and connector with a damp cloth. This will remove any dirt or residue from the o-ring and connector. Apply a very small amount of Dow Corning 111 lubricant to the o-ring and connector. Work the lubricant into the o-ring and connector as shown. Too much lubricant will attract airborne particles and must be removed. By regularly lubricating the lung demand valve o-ring will greatly aid in easier connection and locking of the lung demand valve into the mask. 